So we can put in hellotend.com, which is the advertising domain, and just hit search. And uh, it immediately pulls up either authority score. This would be considered uh, to be potentially equivalent to the DA, DR score. But you guys want to offer SEO to your clients? Um, we have some tools and things like that so that you can make it like super, super easy to be able to present it. These guys right here. And they've got money to spend. You know, you know, these guys make really good money. Yeah. All right, you guys, amazing folks. You know, one of the things that uh, we realize a lot of you guys are using some amazing tools to make your life easier with your pay per click campaigns. Also, those of you guys who run SEO, we wanted to show you uh, some of the cool stuff today that you guys can do with uh, SEM Rush in particular, because we think it's a pretty like valuable all in one tool and how to really get more revenue per client using it. I brought on my man, the Lane Train from Quantum Agency. Lane, say hello to our five. Hey, hey, what's up, folks? How you doing? Um, so Lane, let's, uh, before, rather than like, let's talk too much about this, let's get into it. Let's, uh, we, we've done a little homework for you guys and shown like what you can kind of do on the PPC side to start with. Um, we just picked a random niche, dentist. We got a dental search in Atlanta. You want to show folks the search we've got going here? Yeah, so... Come on, get out of here. So um, if we go, I got to go back here too, because um, there's a little break in Google search and the, the Chrome extension I'm using, but here we go. So we did dentist near Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Aspen Dental comes up. Um, Hello Tend. Uh, Tend Dental Buckhead come up. They, they're out, they're running ads both in the local pack and uh, uh, also in, in search. So uh yeah so what we decided to do is let's just look at hello 10 um they may be a lead gen company we weren't actually sure we can use this same principle to look up anybody we want but let's just say we wanted to potentially target 10 dental for their ppc spend uh as a prospect and see if we couldn't take over that account so uh, we go into scm rush this is a tool that we use in our white label agency a quantum agency um i use it primarily for a lot of research. My team uses it for research plus some uh, reporting and tracking on, on certain campaigns and things like that. Um, it has a pretty deep um, um, advertising analysis. So we can put in hellotend.com, which is the advertising domain and just hit search. And uh, it immediately pulls up either authority score. This would be considered uh, to be potentially equivalent to the DA, DR score put out by Ahrefs and or Moz, depending on which one you're following there. But that's this is SCM Rush's own authority score. We can see an approximation of their organic search traffic, how much they're getting in paid search traffic, and then backlink profile as well. So from a paid search standpoint, we can just click on their paid search traffic, and that'll dive us into the advertising research tab over here in SCM Rush. And we can see they're bidding on about 22 keywords, 884 traffic visits, from their uh, their SC, uh, their Google Ads campaign, how much they're approximately paying for that traffic, and then we can see their paid search positions down here, um, and we can see a good overview of the different keywords that they're bidding on and that they're getting traffic from. So, can I just add, Lane? Like, I wouldn't suggest you guys go out there and copy exactly what they're doing, but this is a hell of a starting place to know how much they're spending, which keywords they're bidding on. Like chances are if they're doing this and they've been doing it for a while, which as you can see over the timeline is it's probably working, right? Like they probably, uh, uh, I guess in this case, it's a relatively newer campaign, but like if you Still see two speech, years, almost two years, if they've been running it two years, they're probably not doing that because the campaign is not working the opposite. Yeah, uh, you know, this gives you like, you know, and you could do this for almost any industry. I know not all of you guys work with dentists, but you know, whatever your industry is, imagine fill in the blank is if you could find out which keywords are converting, what they're spending, what their ads they're running, and all of those things before you even hit go. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're if you're like I, you know, I will put more time. I don't like to put time into it until I've got like a good warm, you know, lead on the line. Maybe it's a discovery, meaning that they've actually booked. Um, how, wherever you're at in the prospecting process and wherever you want to put some time into it, this is uh, the tool 
to utilize, to leverage on your time, um, along with just Google, good old Google search, because nothing replaces really putting your eyeballs on some Google searches. But you can see here, actually, these guys might actually be a really good prospect, because you can see here in January, uh, you know, a little over a year ago, they, they were, they, their traffic was way higher, and they've just fallen in, in terms of their paid search. So <clears throat> it's potentially that they they lost an agency relationship here, maybe they fired somebody internally and didn't replace that person, but you can see how their their trend here has just fallen off a cliff in terms of their traffic from paid. So something happened with their PPC spend that pretty significantly um, and 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 or the performance. Um, so um, they would be a potentially a really good prospect to call on um, just from a PPC standpoint alone. And you can see that just by, you know, like literally looked it up and we can see just by switching the view to all time, we can see what happened to their traffic Versus if we go to the last six months, oh, it doesn't look so bad here. Oh, it's actually kind of up. Uh, well, if we go back two years, you can see it's a whole different you know, look, right? So uh, the other thing you can do is you can go to their ad copy here and we can see exactly, you know, maybe not to say exactly, but a good a good um, vantage point of what the ads they're actually running and what the, you know, the, the ad titles and the ad descriptions are and even where they're going to. So you can click here and go out to a new tab and see where their landing pages are look look like as well and see are there ways to even improve this for sure you know this is pretty bad like this is you know if you're running you're spending 25k a month in ad spend and you're running to this um the, you know they got good call to actions here but man the design could easily be better for sure yeah. um yeah, look forward to the dentist that's probably not a super strong headline let's just say that yeah Exactly. Like no one's going to do that. Right. And then, you know, you got some guy brushing his teeth, you know, whatever um, could be improved. And you can see some weaknesses, obviously, or at least some trends. Um, and that's just you can say you can go here and you can do this for anybody. So if we want to look up, um, you know. Let's do this. Best dentist in Buckhead. Come on. Fingers. There we go. All right. So better dental. Hello, tend. That's not even local there. That's where I'm at. Boy, they're definitely spending some money. Let's see if we can go down here and get any sponsors that are local here. All right. Pure dental health. Let's just see. Okay. So they're there. So puredentalhealth.com. So I'll just come in here and I'll go to. Here, just hit enter. Let's take out that and see if that helps. And uh, you can see that they don't got have anything. So even though they're running ads, it's this is so this is indicative of a very new campaign that's just launched. Okay, and you can see they're also in the bottom. And so obviously, if I'm a PPC uh, agency, I can find you know like as an SEO, I find my clients on page two. Uh, if you're PPC, you find your clients down in the bottom. There's stuff down the bottom or on page two as well because they're, something's wrong with their bidding strategy or their authority score or something, uh, their quality score, I'm sorry, or something along those lines, right? So uh, if if SCM Rush doesn't have any data on them, then it's too new or they're spending so little that there's just not enough there on the bone to, for them to get. So um, anything you want to what add about here? the uh, the emergency dentist I saw over there? Gonna... Where'd that go? Yeah, let's take these guys. Uh, cosmetic dentistry, they've got to be spending some money, right? You'd hope so. They got they always love these giant like HD photos of them. Lawyers are like that too. I know. They, they, I think if you see pictures of them in a suit and tie, you'll want to hire them. <laughs> see here. There we go. There we go. So moderate 2000 a month, maybe. Um, yeah. And this is not, you know, this is not the Bible on exactly what they're spending, but it, obviously this is getting data from multiple sources. Uh, it's reliable to at least know that they're spending some money. Obviously you can see that visually in search. You can come in here and back it up with some data. Again, we can see trends on their domain. Uh, you know, um, again, another, another one that just was, you know, doing a lot more. Um, 
What is this? 20 and 20. Oh, no, 14. Man. May of 13, January 14. So many, many years ago, they were doing a lot more, and then they just went silent and now they're doing a little bit. It's kind of a weird trend uh, for a business, interest, honestly. But add copy, add history. You can see some history here. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Uh, so different keywords and the volume on that and the traffic coverage that they're getting on that. So you can get a lot of intel uh, pages that oh, I'm getting that. Oh, okay, so here you're going to run up against some of the limits of this account. So what we did here too, by the way, is here's their, their public pricing. Um, so I'm in a, a, a free trial of a $119.95 a month um, pro plan right now. Um, they have the 229 and then they have the 449. We're at my, my white label agency is in the 449. Uh, we actually pay more than that because I have also their, um, it's a new one. It's called the, uh, the here it is down here, agency growth kit. Uh, that's an extra $69 a month, but it's actually $149 a month. Um, but it gives you um, the ability to create um, kind of gray labeled reporting portals where you can throw any SEM Rush reports into the portal uh, with white label reporting. I mean, in other words, SEM Rush logos are all taken off. And so we have the 449 plus the 149 uh, plan um, for all of that. Um, so, anyway. It can get costly pretty quickly, depending on how much you use it, how much features you need. Right now, we're in that one nineteen ninety five a month plan. Um, so, you know, you can see here. There's a little bit here to, 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 devoted to advertising PPC research. There's a significant amount more devoted to SEO. Uh, yeah, and let's talk about that, Lane, because uh, you know one of the things we were talking about off air is that. One of the easiest things people can do to double their revenue is simply offer more services to clients. And that's that's how you help agencies is, for those of you guys who don't know, is called a white label partner, somebody who actually does the fulfillment. And so really like if you're running pay-per-click for clients, you can um, like potentially offer them SEO and have someone else like Lane who knows what they're doing actually do the uh, fulfillment side of it. And essentially like, offer more value to clients and get paid more money for it, but also, but like not actually have more to do. This uh, honestly, um, before you get into trying to do all the work for, you know, even SEO, PPC, website development, you've got to get sales up. And um, as soon as agencies try start trying to do it all, they typically their sales will fall unless they have someone really dedicated to sales and sales only, which is where, most agencies start is, you know, the agency owners, you know, I'm, it's me, I'm the number one sales guy until I can replace myself. And so if you find yourself as the main salesperson in your agency and you're doing the work, meaning you're fulfilling on the PPC ad campaign management, you're trying to do SEO or you're trying to do websites, it's impossible. Uh, you can't do it. You can't scale that. So you've got to scale sales first and, and partner with somebody who can come in and do, whether it's a, you know, a real partner that you, you have somebody, you you know, physically, you know, partner with, um, or you more as a kind of a contract partner, like a white label agency like ours, you can come in and just contract us for a wholesale price and we'll do the website build or we'll do the SEO, we'll do the PPC, whatever you need for you. And you can continue to focus on sales. But um, there's, I think that's the best way for a PPC agency who let's say has 20 or 30 or 50 clients today in PPC uh, to number one, double your revenue. You can double your revenue, maybe even more than double your revenue in 12 months or less, simply by the upsell to uh, uh, the same clients you already have for PPC and, and upselling them into local organic SEO, local SEO, or both. Um, secondly, uh, when I had an agency myself, uh, now we have a white label, so we only serve agencies, but back, I cut my teeth uh, starting in 2010, I built my own agency and we did websites, SEO and PPC and social. Um, and we would steal clients um, all the time from PPC agencies because they didn't do SEO and clients knew instinctively that they needed to be doing better in SEO. They could see their competitors doing well in SEO, whatever that search might be. And um, they would potentially even hear their competitors doing a lot more business from um, SEO. And that 
the facts and the data just bear that out. Um, if you do, uh, if there's a hundred searches for dentists near me in any given market, uh, those hundred searches, 10 to 20 of them are going to go to the, click on the PPC results, the ads that they see. 60 to 70 of them are going to click on one of the three or maybe all three of the map pack results. And then 20 to 30 of them are going to pick on uh, or click on the local organic. And that's just factually how it bears itself out. And so if there's a dental practice that's only doing PPC, they're literally missing 80 to 90 percent of all the search market because they're only showing up here or maybe only showing up down in the bottom on the second place of ads. But everywhere in between where the majority of consumers are clicking, they're just they're not even showing up or they're on page two and beyond. Yeah. Can I just add, by the way, um, totally unrelated to that, um, Lane and I talked, we're going to throw in those slides for you guys as a bonus if you click our links below so that if you guys want to offer SEO to your clients, um, we have some tools and things like that so that you can make it like super, super easy to be able to present it to folks. So like you can have these exact slides here without actually having to know what you're doing. And so like you have to know enough to be able to sell it, but not necessarily to fulfill on it. We'll put links for those uh, for you guys who are interested in that. Yeah. And what I'll actually throw in here too, is because we offer it to all of our agency partners on the white label side, is I actually have in our knowledge base, how to present the SEO and PPC solutions that we offer as a white label, but it's basically me going through this slide deck here. And PPC is really more of a footnote because this is where it is. It's a footnote in search. And ultimately, as an agency, we want to help our clients show up in all of the zones, not just in the one of these zones. And so, um, you know, I actually have, uh, you know, although we offer PPC at the white label, we do a lot more SEO because there's it's, SEO just is more technical. That's why a lot of agencies don't actually offer it because it's so technical and they want to get predictable results. They want to get good outcomes consciously. They want to you know offer a good service and perform and not just take people's money, which is really good. And that's why some people just say, hey, you know, we're going to skip on SEO. Um, and rather than doing that, you can just out, outsource it. And here's um, the, the link here, Freddie, uh, Frankie, so that you can pass that on as well. There's a video of me going through this slide deck and kind of how to present SEO and PPC as a holistic solution to, you know, to uh, any kind of prospect. So yeah, that's how SEO brought to not only will you get more yeses from clients because they want all in one solution, but you also like, will as like, as we've talked about, like you need half as many clients to hit your income goals. If each one of them is paying you double what they're paying now to, to get a more comprehensive solution. Now, I've talked to so many different people across different industries and they say like, they hate having, you know, 17 quote unquote vendors to deal with. And they would love to just have one competent person they can delegate this to. So if you show up as having like, hey, let me do all your websites. Let me do your PPC. Let me do your social. Let me do, you know, your SEO. Let me do all of it in one place. And you don't have to deal with 17 different people. And I'll give you a bulk cheaper price on all of it. You can actually have a very high end comprehensive solution, but, but from a, you know, delivery and fulfillment side, it can actually be no extra work than what you're doing already. Yeah, especially if you have, like I said, the out, out, outsource partner and you're going to have less churn. I, I guarantee it um, because like Freddie, uh, I can come with Freddie. I've, I've got a, an extra neighbor who's Freddie. I, like Frankie said, there's, um, yeah, uh, companies don't want to have to deal with multiple agencies just to handle their online presence. And so um, double, triple your MRR just with the same existing clients you already have and have less churn and a happier client, um, you can do more with less. Um, SCM Rush has a, a significant amount of data to give you on any given domain uh, as intelligence. You know, I, I would usually use this in the prospecting process and typically to close them or to come in and have a good discovery meeting where I've already, I already know more about their domain and their traffic and their PPC, their ad budget, than they probably know about themselves, which is a really good place to start as an expert. Um, you know, when I go to a doctor, I want him to know or her to know way more about what I'm dealing with, with a few little, you know, tidbits of, of info from me. I want them to kind of click in and go, all right, here's what we got to do, you know? Yeah. So SEM Rush is a really good tool 
to give that kind of intel. So we use SEM Rush, and then we also use um, a, a tool called Lead Snap. It's white labeled here, so you don't see Lead Snap here. But um, I know Patrick, the founder of Lead Snap, it's a really good tool, and we use it uh, really mostly for GMB management and um, Google research, um, uh, Google heat, GMB heat map research. And so we can come in here. And so let's just use um, this Atlanta Center for Cos Cosmetic Dentistry. So let's see if we can find them in here. And we do these heat maps and Atlanta Center for Cosmetic. There it is. Um, and then we can come in here and we can say cosmetic dentist uh, re, near me. And we're going to, so it's going to take their Google listing as the center. And then it's just simply, we're going to say, let's, let's do these uh, one mile apart and do uh, a 13 by 13 grid. And we're going to see where this Google listing is ranking in this 13 by 13 grid for this exact keyword, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and start the heat map. And um, lead snap is pretty fast. They've got, they run some very specific proxies to get this data. And um, you can see it start to just pull in where this Google listing is ranking for cosmetic dentist near me in a 13 by 13 mile grid around its Google listing at the center. And you can see the rankings get better as we get closer and closer to uh, the center of their Google listing, but they drop way off out here. And so this is a really, really good um, prospect for an SEO agency because they've got some decent rankings for just this one keyword, but they fall off very quickly once you get out maybe uh, you know two, three miles away from their office. And that's indicative of somebody who's not really doesn't have a very good SEO um, agency working for them. Maybe they have an agency working for them, but maybe not doing the greatest job. And that's just one keyword. I can run a couple different keyword searches here, get a really good idea of how they're doing in their local SEO campaign. Obviously we have all the data on their, um, both their advertising campaign and their organic and their backlink profile. So that's the other thing that, that um, SCM Rush will give us on any domain is I can go in here and click on backlinks and actually see where they're getting their backlinks from, um, where they're sending their backlinks to, uh, what are their, their targets um, and are they quality or are they not quality? I can see are they do follow or are they no follow? How many referring domains? You can see they're actually going backwards or losing. So this is a, a really good, again, a, a really good prospect, honestly, from the PPC side and the SEO side, they need some help because they're just going the wrong way. Um, and it would be a really good time to contact them. Um, you know, these guys right here. And they've got money to spend. You know, you know, these guys make really good money. Yeah. And uh, I always say that's the biggest indicator is that they're spending money now. So it's like you're not trying to convince them to spend money. You're just saying, hey, I can better allocate it. That's a better conversation. Um, Lane, just for the sake of time, I'm going to put some uh, links below for you guys that are interested. We'll uh, put some links to SEM Rush. Um, I forget the name of this tool that you just mentioned for the heat maps. I know there's quite a few of those, but we'll put a link for that. And we'll also put a link for the slides, as we mentioned, and those of you guys who are interested and in also offering a more all-in-one solution for your clients, we'll uh, we'll put a link for that. So uh, hope that's helpful to you guys, because this is some really badass stuff that allows you to make more per client doing less and show up as a real expert because you actually, like, like, he, like Lane said, you know more about their business and their online presence than they do. And so you're the one who gets to like dictate to them, like, you know, what the right kind of treatment you will as like as the the doctor of their internet problems yeah for sure and the big thing is as an agency owner don't let the fear of oh i don't know seo good enough or i don't know how to build, develop websites or i've had some bad experiences outsourcing websites to other people before stop you from selling these and offering this as a holistic solution to your your clients and or your prospects because you just simply outsource to a quality white label we're not the only one. There's other quality white label agencies out there. Um, there's bigger ones than us. There's smaller ones than us. We're just, we focus really on quality, but there's there's plenty of them out there. Um, but that's the that's kind of the way you can really leverage the experience and the scale 
of the of a white label partner and start offering solutions that you might not otherwise offer just because out of conscience you just don't want to offer them if you can't really do a good job delivering yeah totally all right guys so we're going to hit the uh, end recording there much appreciated lane train for coming on and doing this yeah man absolutely you bet my pleasure Hey guys, if you like this video, you'll probably also like our free Facebook group, Beyond Agency Profits, Agency Lifestyle Design. Uh, you can get free copies of the book inside here. It's, I look ridiculous. We're doing weekly Q&As, giving answers to all your questions. Some of the best, smartest, brightest people. We've got lots of industry leaders doing seven, eight figures and beyond. It's a literal who's who of the brightest uh, agency owners that I know, as well as lots of tips on scaling and stuff, books that work. So if you're not already part of it, uh, you're going to want to be part of it. So make sure to click the link. I put it in the description of the video as well as in the pinned top comment below. So just scroll down and you can join and it's totally free.